Well, in the last decade, given all that we've learned about how to image the brain and what happens, we've learned that the brain is not a passive recipient of information. It, it in fact, processes it, and it processes it at different areas and using different structures. And so we now know that pain is a complex process that is a result of activity at many sites and the communication between the sites. And here list, I list nine processes and the areas that we ought to know about if we're going to treat pain. And I'm going to talk about each one individually. First, what happens in the periphery is important. It can influence what a pain a person experiences. When an area of the body is damaged, chemicals are released at the damaged area that will actually make that area more sensitive. Now, if you've ever been sunburned, you know you've experienced that. Um, a stimulation that used to not hurt can hurt because of all the inflammation and all the chemicals that are released. You don't have to memorize them because um, we're learning more and more all the time. But just know that when damage occurs, the area in pain becomes more sensitive and can become more inflamed. But it doesn't stop there. The information th about pain um, then goes towards the spinal cord. And at the point it enters the spinal cord, according to the gait control theory of pain, it's, and that theory has been supported now, it's modulated at the level of the spinal cord. You can turn it up or turn it down. And there are many factors that will influence whether that's turned up or down. But it's not pain yet. It's nociception. It's information from the body towards the brain that can, might, or might not communicate pain. It does not become pain until the pain matrix, the processes in the brain, are engaged. It's the brain that creates pain. And what are those processes? Well, we're going to talk about them one by one. First, 95%, most information about pain goes right to the thalamus, which can be seen as kind of a relay station, about the size of a walnut. It's right in the middle of the brain. And that receives information from the body. From there...